All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to sew closed the opening of your pin cushion. As you can see, we have this opening here that we need to sew together so that our stuffing doesn't fall out. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your needle and thread it with some thread that matches the fabric of your pin cushion. Uh, my pin cushion is orange, so I've chosen some orange thread and cut myself a length doesn't have to be too long because our opening is very short. Um, now we did buttons last week and for that we did a double thread. For sewing our pin cushion closed we just need a single thread. So when you're getting your thread ready go ahead and put your needle through, um, your thread through your needle, excuse me, and then pull your thread so that they are staggered. You should have one end shorter than the long end, just like that. Okay, um, then what you're going to do is go ahead and make your first stitch. Um, your first stitch is going to be on the inside of your um, opening of your pin cushion on the seam allowance that you folded inside your pin cushion, right up close to the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and make that stitch and then I will show you what I've done. Okay, so I'm just going to make a nice small stitch just like that on the inside of my pin cushion. Okay, notice it's on the inside, you can't see it from the outside there. Um, it's on the inside of my pin cushion. Okay, and it's very small, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that through. And once I get close to the end and I have just a small thread on this side, I'm going to go ahead and tie myself a knot by just tying my short end to my long end. And tie it at least three times, nice and tight. Okay, once you've tied that into a knot, you can push this small string down into the inside of your pin cushion and that will hide that string um, from coming out and showing on the outside of your pin cushion um, and you won't have to worry about clipping it in the end um, and make it, it that will make it stronger okay so we are there we have our string you can see it's coming from the inside of our pin cushion now since we're on the inside we need to come and sew towards the outside so I'm going to just go ahead and make a small little stitch towards the outside of my pin cushion. And I've got my pins on here, so I'm getting wrapped around. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off of there. Pull that through. All right, and now you're just going to go back and forth um, from side to side, making stitches so that nice small stitches whipping around from each side. You want to make them so small that you can barely see them but catch both sides of the fabric um, so that you're going through two layers. Notice there's my first layer caught right here and here's my second layer caught um, by the needle on that side. Okay, but barely nice small stitches. If you make them too deep, they'll be very visible and everyone will see your stitches and they won't look very nice. Now, if you don't want to hold this closed or you don't feel comfortable holding it closed, you can also use your pins, that's why I have these here, kind of pinch it closed and make sure it's lined up perfectly and go back and forth a couple times through your pin cushion and that'll hold your fabric in place for you. Okay, and I probably only need two so I can get rid of this third pin here. Alright, so you can see I have some pins in there now holding my fabric in place so it doesn't shift on me. And I'm going to get that one out of the way so I don't keep catching it as I sew. Okay, and every time you make a stitch, you go from the same side. So I'm always starting toward, um, on my side and pushing it away from me.
And the further away you stitch with each one, the longer your stitches will be. And that's just fine. They don't have to be super close. I tend to make mine really close, but you don't have to make them as close as mine are. There we go. All right, I'm ready to take out this first pin. So I'll take that out and set it over there. Pull that through. Always pushing from my side to the other side, remember. And wrapping around. Try not to get your thread tangled. Alright, I'm getting really close to my other pin, so I'll make one more stitch, and before I pull that through, I'm just going to move my pin, and then go ahead and pull my needle through, and I have just about like a half an inch left, so I'll keep going and holding my fabric together as I do that. Now when I get to the end, to tie a knot, I want to make as small knot as I possibly can so that it's not too visible and it doesn't get caught on other things and rip out my stitches. So here we go, my last stitch. Now what I'm going to do is make a stitch right in the same place I made that last stitch. So I'm going in in the same spot and coming out in the same spot. And as I pull that through, I've made a loop. And before I pull that tight, I'm going to go ahead and go through that loop. Just like we kind of did with the button, where we made a loop around the button and then went through it, I'm going to do this three times at least in the same exact spot. So pull it almost tight and then go through the loop. And make another stitch in the exact same spot. Make a loop. Pull it through the loop. And pull it tight. And I'll do it one more time just for good measure and for showing you guys. Make a stitch in the exact same spot, make a loop, go through the loop, and pull it tight. Okay, and then the last thing you need to do to hide your thread, you want to hide this nice long thread. You don't want to just clip it because then you'd have a long thread hanging here. To hide this thread, you're going to poke down between the layers of your pin cushion. There we go, between the layers of your pin cushion and carefully push through and try to come up in the very center of your pin cushion, just like that. You can see my needle has come out right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that through and you can see my thread is following it. Pull that tight and that has hidden the tail of my knot. And now I can clip this thread right up close to my pincushion and I'll pull it and hide it right inside my pincushion and I'll never see that tail again. All right, that's how you tie, um, so close your pincushion and tie a knot.